Hi, Van Danny Grandma here, going live on this lazy Sunday. Just because I felt like saying hello to see what what you my friends were out there who would be interested in watching and sharing what their week the plants out. So that's all been being done. Okay, so who's here? Pam! Hi Pam! So happy to have you here. Kind of a dreary day. Let's see, who's that? Oh, it went away. Come back. Oh, Tina. I see Tina too. Uh, so happy. Kind of a dreary day here. We have some snow on the ground. Wow. We missed church today, but watch it online due to a daughter not feeling well. We've done that too. But we were there today. Becky says hello. Hi. Yeah, we went we went to church this morning. Had an interesting thing happen. Hi from Houston, says Melinda. Hello, Melinda. Yeah, we have a couple of pastors at our church, and uh, one we always enjoy his sermons. Our senior pastor, he's just great. The other one's okay, but I have to admit, when I hear our senior pastor isn't preaching I feel kind of disappointed and it was like that today we went in and we saw the name in the bullet and we said oh it's not senior pastor and we we're feeling kind of oh well you know <laughs> it was terrible of us and yet I said to myself okay this is not the right attitude to have I'm going to pray for the man and ask the Lord to fill him and bless him and I think what the Lord did was change my heart instead. <laughs> he gave a wonderful message. And it was the best I ever heard him preach. And uh, every, he was right on point. He tends to wander and jump around a lot. And I lose track of what he's trying to say. And I get distracted. I hung on every word he said today. It was really good. And uh, yeah, the Lord taught me a message. And, and the funny thing is his message even kind of touched on that like prejudging people and not expecting the best. And, you know, he had no idea he was talking to people who were doing that. So, yeah, I was convicted. <laughs> All right, who else we got here? Let's see. Oh, the print's so small. Chile expatriate family. Hello from Chile, South America. I can barely hear you. Oh, I'm sorry. You know what? I probably should have got my little mic that goes on here. If I talk up, does that help? All right, and Tracy says hello. I got that, I think. So happy. The one we listened to was amazing. It was about how we need to be grateful for what God has given us. Also, if this was our last day to be alive, what would we do with it? Makes you think, that's right. I thought about that with New Year's resolutions. If this was my last year to be alive, what would I want to do? You know, rather than the trivial things I usually try and think of. And that really helps. All right, Chili, is she talking soft or is it my old ears? You know what? Funny you should say how a sermon can hit you. That was me today. I was looking at things I want different and quickly put me back into place. Hi, Green Acres. Hello. Hi, Grandma. Okay, now, I need a consensus here. I have a little microphone in my office, and I can clip it on here very easily, and it might help, but I'd have to be gone for about a minute. So you guys tell me, if you're all having trouble hearing me, I can do that and see if that helps. Hey, Anna. Deborah. Okay, it looks like I just went off for a few seconds, but my internet will do that. I don't have the best of internet. Yeah. I wish I, I've got a, I'm filming on a mini iPad. So my screen is like seven inches and the, the chat rolls up and it's so tiny. I have to look out of the bottom of my bifo, my trifocals to see it. Hi, hello, have a lovely Sunday. Yep. 
Lots of spring and wet rain on the roof. <laughs> Aunt Grandma So Happy says, I'm going to can potatoes and take some rhubarb out of my freezer and can it in a way that I can use it quickly in recipes. That's always good to have on hand like that. Yeah. We've had a few changes going on around here. My oldest daughter moved back in and we have been revamping our basement to make room and give her a separate living quarter. I just relaxing having a cheese sandwich. That's from Bobby. And if you saw the car in the yard here, that's her car. We're making room for her in all different kinds of ways. And I'm enjoying her being here because after raising seven kids and then being an empty nester, uh, thumbs up. Thank you, Chili. That that really is helpful. If uh, people enjoy the videos if, and the live streams, if they give a thumbs up, that helps a lot. So yeah, my um, daughter moved back in, and after being an empty nester for a while, after raising seven kids, I'm really glad to have her back for a while. A funny little story about that was after the kids all moved out and the last one left, I would send them emails and talk to them on the phone and say, I miss having my kids around. And uh, I think it was Mandy actually who said to me, Mom, you need to get a dog. <laughs> and it was, you know, she didn't mean anything by it. You know, she knew I'd get out and walk more and take the dog for walks and things like that. But when I was wanting to be with my kids and I was told to get a dog instead, that kind of was, you know, hurt me a little bit. So I didn't want to get a dog. We had had a Great Dane and we loved her dearly, but when she died at age nine and a half, we just didn't think we wanted to get another dog. And uh, besides, we wanted to travel when we could. And <laughs> um, you know what I did instead? I got YouTube. <laughs> I started making YouTube videos. And now I have my online friends. Hi, Isabel, welcome. Glad to have you here. Thanks for reminding me, Chili, says Little Green Acres. Um, yeah, so instead of getting a dog, being an empty nester, I got YouTube, and I got a YouTube channel. <laughs> okay, somebody must be making pickles, because Chili says, sweeter dill. I missed that part. <laughs> Angie smiling. I think those are smiles. They're just big... Let's see, with chips and lemonade too, please. Ah, so we're having lunch. I had a late breakfast. I didn't eat before we went to church, and when I got home, I made uh, scrambled eggs with cheese and a piece of rye toast so and coffee. So that's what I had. And I've canned a lot of chicken this week, so I'll probably be making something with chicken this afternoon. My daughter Mandy asked me if I'd make my chicken and rice casserole that she likes so we might be doing that now my plan is tomorrow and I don't promise because something might come up thanks for the welcome we just got home from church and and just had brunch yep um, tomorrow I'm hoping to do a live stream where I'm going to make my Boston brown bread with raisins and serve it with Boston baked beans they go together really well I'm not promising because things come up all the time. I might do it tomorrow, I might do it Tuesday, but I do want to do a live stream this week where I do those things. In fact, this afternoon I may start the Boston brown bread and have one all ready so when I make it tomorrow live stream, I can show the finished product because it has to be in the oven like two and a half hours steaming. So, uh, yeah, I may make it tonight if my energy holds up. Right now I feel like taking a nap, so we'll see. Green Acres is saying hi to Isabel. Sounds good, Bandana, says Angie Pantry. Yeah, we ate a lot of that growing up. My mom, um, she made it a few times in coffee cans. And uh, sometimes she bought the, is it B&M baked beans and B&M brown bread. And we uh, lived up by Boston for four years while my husband went to college. And we ate some of that there because they served a lot of brown bread and baked beans together. I think, and when we were in Williamsburg, Colonial Williamsburg, they made reference to it that that was quite popular as a meal back in colonial times. So probably in England way before colonial times, it was also popular. And I do already have a video up on how to make it. 
uh, a, red, a regular video, but I think I'll do it live stream tomorrow. Uh, what are you using the chicken for? Well, I got 40 pounds of chicken, so I'm going to use it in all kinds of things. I froze some of it. I canned some of it. I think I got seven quarts stuffed full of chicken breast. It's all chicken breast. And then I bake some up in the uh, electric pressure cooker thingy, the uh, instant pot type thing. And I got some of that in the fridge that I'm pulling from to make different meals. And I made broth, so I did a lot with it. Uh, okay. One thing I want to try this week. We have an abundance of raw milk. I want to try making yogurt from Krista put a recipe up the other day. Grandma's so happy. Yes, I saw that. I didn't watch it yet. I have a I have a how-to on that also, making it in the crock pot. Uh, going to start the roast. Have a great day, Bandana Grandma. Big hugs. Okay, Angie, hope things go well for you and you get back home soon. It's going to be good to sleep in your own bed again. Well, that is the thing with the... Well, well, that is the thing with the beans. Hmm. Not sure I understand that. Okay, so happy. I'm not an empty nester yet. Still have the youngest at home. And my oldest moved back home nine years ago. So in 38 years, I'm having kids. I still have them, but that's okay. Love their company. Yeah, I love having Mandy here too. We invited her back home because she wants to buy a house and paying rent and saving up to buy a house was really hurting her. And when she did find something she wanted to get a bid on, she had this lease hanging over her head that she had to pay two months lease if she got out of it, two months rent if she got out of her lease. So we said, move back home for a year, save your money, and do it that way. Okay, my wife has and uses two old white sewing machines. I must have missed something above that. We are four generations in my mom's house of women. Long story. Wow, Isabel. I saw your picture, Isabel. I didn't quite get who you were sitting with, but I enjoyed seeing your photo. Thanks for posting that. Were you more than impressed about the chicken? Were you? Yes, it was. Yes, it was um, Zaycon chicken. I am totally impressed with it. Uh, it was so easy to pick up, really easy. I mean, you just sign up for it online, you pay for it online. <laughs> we have to make our own beans and barbecue sauce here in Chile, 40 pounds. Wow. Yeah, with the Zacon chicken, 40 pounds is the smallest you can buy. And you just order it online, you pay for it online. They have a local place you go to pick it up. Ours was in a church parking lot. And they had a truck pull in. It was from a farmer. Like, they have local farmers, I think, do it fairly local. And there's a very nice man there, very personable, very helpful. You pull up with your car. He checks your ID. You pop your trunk. He loads it into your car. You don't even have to get out of your car, and off you go. And the chicken was so good. It was huge breasts, no waste on it. I mean, I had to trim the tiniest little sliver of yellow off it here and there and you didn't really even need to do it because there was so little so very good bargain I think I paid a dollar 48 a pound for boneless skinless chicken breasts that were huge and 40 pounds of it and I'm gonna watch for their future sales because they also have beef and pork and bacon and all those things so I am impressed with Zaycon we have to make our own beans Oh, I read that one. Okay, I'm going to look at that. I did not know that you had a video that would actually be easier. Mine was really easy. It was making it in the crock pot. Um, as long as you have a crock pot that's pretty true to the temperature, uh, it was so easy. So take a look at mine. It's called uh, Bandana Grandma. Something about yogurt in a crock pot. You'll see it. Okay, Chili. Chili's got to go. See you all later. Okay, Chili. Bye-bye. Thanks for stopping in. Glad to have you here. Isabel, my mom, she's 84, and that was the first time we had been out to dinner in three years. 
She's having memory problems. She can't remember my birthday, but she knows but she knows she's saved and going to heaven, thank God. That's very sweet, Isabel. Uh, that was a nice photo. Wow, what a deal you got, Bandana. Yeah, and you know, I could have even gotten it lower, I think, because there was another coupon I missed. But um, I have a link on my site on that video where I showed the canning where you can sign up for Zacon. And if you sign up through somebody's link, I get a $10 break, I think, and you get a $10 break on the overall cost, even in, and when it's a low price. And I think the other thing with Zacon is, as it gets close to the date of delivery, if they haven't sold out the truck, they start dropping the price to get more people to sign, to, uh, sign up for that truck delivery. And when they do that, they also drop the, people, the price for the people who've already signed up. So it's a really good company. Hey, Bandana. Hey, Nina. Southern Ark Homestead. Nice to have you come by this lazy Sunday. Anybody else got rain? I've got a very slow, drizzly rain that sometimes comes down a little harder. But we needed it. Even though it's fall, the plants still need the rain. And Nina's saying hello to everyone. Yeah. So I don't know how long I'm going to stay on. I just kind of wanted to say hello. North Carolina's got rain. I didn't look at the maps. I didn't look at the radar to see if it's all over the east coast or what. I just know we've got it here. It's about 60 degrees. I'm in Maryland. It's about 60 degrees. It's pleasant. You know, it's rainy, but... I love my screen porch because I can enjoy being outside even when we've got the rain. So, that's good. Well, if there's no more questions or comments, I'm not going to stay on. Uh, Tina, that is what it is doing here in Pennsylvania too. I was driving along the Susquehanna last night and it is so low. No rain here, says Nina. She's down south, I forget where. Taking a break from working on the camper. Oh, Nina, I'm so trying to talk my husband into getting a camper. We don't want a big one, but he's he's being a hard sell. <laughs> he's not, uh, wish I had a screen porch. Oh, I love it. I love my screen porch. Yeah, I sleep out here. This is where I take my naps when it's not too hot. And I have a fan out here, too. Soul Food Queen. How is everyone? Hello, Soul Food Queen. Nice to have you here. So, I was saying something. Enjoying my porch, for sure. Senior moment. I think I was in the middle of a thought and got sidetracked. So, if you want to remind me, remind me. Gonna make the be tomorrow. I'm gonna live stream making the uh, Boston brown bread. Nice being here. Thank you. I'm glad you made it. And I think it's the first time I've seen you, Soul Food Queen. Yeah. So, with my screen porch, um, I take my naps out here in the summer. We have uh, breakfast and dinner and lunches out here. Thank you. West gets rain Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Can't wait. New sub. Well, welcome. Welcome. I'm so glad you're subbing. Thank you, Soul Food Queen. Uh, I was just uh, telling them about how I'm enjoying my yard. I'm going to take another, let you see my yard again. Now, this is not the pretty yard. This is in the fall, everything dying yard. <laughs> but uh, love your channel. Have you? Oh, you've watched it? Well, that's nice to hear, Soul Food Queen. I have those moments with my memory, too. Oh, yeah. Happens all the time now. I'm just getting up there. All right. So, get past my daughter's car and the... Now, here, I don't know if you can see where the lawn chairs are. There's a circle of trees around there. Those are fruit trees. And I'm espaliering them on into a fence so I can have a living fence around our seating area there. And then over there is where I have my garden. It's about 30 feet long going from the left to the right. 
well, all the full length of the backyard. And then across the backyard fence, I also throw things there. Drop the connection again for a minute. Yes. Well, I'll check out your channel too, Soul Food. I'd be interested in seeing what you have on there. <laughs> All right, now Soul Food, I'm interested. You say you love my channel. What is it about my channel you like? Because I, I like to concentrate on the things that are working, you know? I kind of do a whole lot of different things. I do my cooking videos. I do some gardening videos. I do some crafts. I gotta get back to my crafts. Now that my hand is healed, pretty much, I can, I can crochet again, I can sew again, I can do all the things I used to do pretty well. And it's getting, gaining strength. So I wanna get back this week to my sewing. I wanna make aprons. I wanna make my uh, winter mittens out of recycled sweaters. And I wanna crochet some more slippers and ponchos. So that's what I'm going to be doing this coming week as well as cooking and doing a live stream hopefully tomorrow about the Boston baked beans and the Boston brown bread. Alrighty. I don't see any more comments coming up. I know it blink, blinked off for a minute. I'm hoping I'm back. Probably took a minute to catch up because there is a delay. I've noticed when I start, there's probably a one minute delay or so. So the comments will take a little bit longer for me to see. Now, if you have a channel you'd like, go ahead and put it up there, one that you think we all should go watch. Hi, Glenda. Glenda, Glenda Bills, welcome. I'm uh, just chit-chatting a little bit about this, that, and everything. And I'm asking people now, if you have a favorite channel or a few favorite channels you like to watch, go ahead and put them up there, especially if they have to do with homesteading and homekeeping and family life and things like that. Because I'd be happy to uh, give them a shout-out, let you give them a shout-out. When I first started... Uh, it was a year ago, June. I had a couple of people very kind to me, give me some shout outs. Uh, one was, the first one was Farmer Meemaw. If you know Farmer Meemaw, she's out of, oh golly, now I'm going to forget. I think it's Georgia. Okay, Isabel, I'm making quilted Christmas ornaments and Santa will be bringing one to my favorite channels. Ho, ho, ho. Wow, that's great. <laughs> Homemade Christmas quilted Christmas ornaments. Those are wonderful. Dining on a dime. Yep, I'm with you there. I enjoy dining on a dime. And uh, I'm sure you've seen me on their chat if you've been watching Dining on a Dime. And maybe even seen the videos Tara and I made together. I enjoy being with Tara. Yep. So, lost my train of thought again. You can help me out anytime. Okay, Joanne... Paulino. Hello. Hello, Joanne. Welcome to the channel. Glad to have you here. I wanted to make Christmas presents this year, too. I'll probably make him more of the slippers and the ponchos. One of my daughters, Mandy, who's living with us, asked me to make her this stuffed unicorn that she loved, and I might attempt that. Oh, it looked a little busy. I'll see if I have time. Let's see. Yes, Taryn family are the best. Going Batty. Absolutely. Kevin and uh, Heather from the Going Batty channel. And you see how it's spelled there where, where uh, Isabel wrote it. G-O-I-N. Going Batty. They have a channel and they have live streams and they have great videos on uh, cooking and faith and family life and homesteading. Um, they're great. Yeah, Kevin's fun. And he does a devotional every morning at 7 a.m. Eastern Time uh, on the Go In Batty channel. So if you're up in the morning and you want to go to a nice devotional and probably see us there in the live chat, 
several of us who are here, uh, you can go watch that if that's your thing. Uh, I like to start my morning doing that. We have a cup of coffee together and go over a few verses in the Bible to get our inspiration for the day. I adore Gone Batty and Linda's Pantry. Yes, Linda. If you like long videos and very informative videos, and uh, she is great at canning and cooking, uh, yeah, she she has a great channel, and she has a ton, over 100,000 subscribers, so you know she has a good channel. So Linda's Pantry is another good one. All right. Oh, I was telling you who gave me shout-outs in the beginning. So... Uh, Farm and Meemaw started watching the series I have on my channel called My Faith Journey. And it's a story of how the, how my husband and I nearly divorced and the turmoil we were having that seemed absolutely hopeless and how the Lord kind of reached down and changed our hearts and healed our marriage. And then all the miracles that happened after that of how we got my husband through college and on no money and all kinds of things. And it's called My Faith Journey and there's eight parts to it. Well, she was started watching that, and she said she loved it, and it was inspiring to her, so she gave me a shout-out. Now, this was right after I started my channel, and I had, like, no subscribers, and I didn't think anybody was watching. I just was putting them out there and praying over them, and uh, the Lord blessed it. And Farmer Mima, who had, I don't know, five or 6,000 subscribers, I think, she gave me a shout-out. And then Hope's Homestead saw my uh, easy oil and milk pie crust recipe, and she loved that. Well, that was like a day later, and she gave me a shout-out. And then people started watching, and I, I was just really thankful. So I'm happy to give people shout-outs when uh, Clutterbug. Yeah, I've, I've watched Clutterbug. That's a good one. Clutterbug, you can learn about how to organize your house. Happy Sunday, bandana. Laura, hi, honey. Grandma, love you. You're looking beautiful today. Well, it's church day. I put a little war paint on before I went to church. Just a little bit. A little lipstick and mascara. So, yeah, I did. And I, I got a dress on. This dress, um, it's, well, I can't, you can't see the whole thing, but it's like a knit dress. It's like a t-shirt dress, and it falls to just below my knees. And I wear it with this sweater. And this, I'm a bargain frugal bargain hunter, so it was $9.99 at Ross Dress for Less. I love Ross Dress for Less. There was a time where I would look for dresses instead of pants, and I would go, it is comfy, I would go to Sears, and I would go to Kmart, and I would go to Walmart, and for a while, none of them had dresses. All they had was pants. And when I went to Ross Dress for Less, and being a larger size lady, you know, I couldn't always find things that fit. And if I found them that fit, they were ugly. You know, they were just gunny sacks. They were terrible. Well, Dress for Less, Ross Dress for Less, has stylish things that aren't too revealing. And I really found a lot of things there I like. So if you see Ross Dress for Less, go check them out. If, if, and they have all sizes, not just plus sizes. Okay, Isabel, I crochet and knit. I do afghans, baby blankets, and but I can't do hard things, and I have a hard time reading patterns. I would love to do slippers. You do beautiful things. Thank you, Isabel. Hey, T. So happy to have T in here. T's very sweet, always faithful. And Joanne Paul Paulino says, I absolutely love to crochet, too. I do mostly afghans to gift. Yeah, I wanted to start an Etsy channel, but you got to have some inventory to do an Etsy channel. And I just haven't gotten enough ahead because having my own five daughters and two sons and the grandchildren and friends that I, sisters and, you know, you give things away as you make them. My husband, I make slippers for him, which he loves. Uh, so, you know, I, I don't have the inventory to put things on Etsy. But when I start sewing, that's a little quicker. So if I find a, aprons, I think I may uh, make a bunch of aprons. Now, uh, uh oh, I'm senior moment, I'm forgetting her name, and I, I love her, and she's. <sighs> I'm going to have to be quiet till it comes to me. 
finally caught you live. Simple food, simple life. Hi, Robin. Yes, I don't remember seeing you on here live. Welcome, welcome. And if you guys don't know Simple Food, Simple Life, go check her out. She's the one I got my yogurt recipe from. And my yogurt video is one of the largest videos I have out there now. So Simple Food, Simple Life was where I saw how to make the yogurt in a crock pot. And I gave her credit in my video, but my video is going crazy now. That one and my crocheting a poncho for my daughter, I think that one has 31,000 hits on it, which for me is like viral, you know, because my little, I wasn't expecting that. And I can't remember how many thousand the uh, yogurt one has, but thank you, Robin. That helped me a lot. <laughs> oh. Robin has some really good cooking videos. That's Simple Food, Simple Life. Uh, are you on Etsy now? No, I'm not. My sister was, my sister Jody, who teaches me about crocheting. She's like an expert. She puts a lot on there. Uh, she runs in shifts, though, because sometimes she sells out and starts up again. But if you want to check her channel, her Etsy uh, store, it's Jody's Rags to Riches. J-O-D-Y-S. Jody's Rag to Riches. And... If she's got a full store, you can check her stuff out. Okay, Sandy, hello. Oh, thanks, Susie. Yeah, Robin's, Robin's fun. She's a little camera shy. She'll show you her hands, but she won't put herself on camera. I did that, too, when I first started. I didn't want to get on camera because I thought I'd hear too many uh, trolls tell me how fat I was. But <laughs> I got over it. I had another friend on there saying nobody wants to look at your hands get in front of that camera and let yourself be you so I did and had to swallow my pride and just do it okay let's see this is Glinda I also like big family yep big family homestead very good very good channel I love them too deep south homestead excellent they're the real deal they do it all and you know they're not youngsters either but they get it done uh, Homestead Tessie, very good channel. She has wonderful things on there. She's always busy, always taking things out of her garden and making salves and lotions and potions and cooking and gardening. She does great things on there. And Paw Paw, <laughs> I like a lot of them. Uh, each channel is unique, but the devotional at Go and Batty grounds me and lifts me up for the day. Yeah, that's a good thing. I think you'd probably like my faith journey too on my channel, Glenda, if you like that. I also, I would, I actually was doing the Bible study on the Homestead Network for a while, and I turned it over to Kevin, and then Kevin picked it up, and he's been running with it. I was doing it because Brad asked me to fill in on Saturdays. Brad from Big Family Homestead did the devotional Monday through Friday, and he did an excellent job. He was great. I enjoyed him every single morning doing the the Bible study. And then they moved away. And, well, he didn't. He wasn't able to do Saturdays. He asked me to do Saturdays because he had because he had seen my faith journey and thought he would like me to do the Saturday study. So I started doing that. I was never real comfortable with it because I don't know. I just I need time to get my thoughts together, and I'd rather when I feel inspired turn the camera on and do it then. And to do it every Saturday at a certain time, it was hard for me. And when Kevin filled in for me, I, I thought, here's the guy. He's a youth pastor. He's, he knows all about the Bible. Let him take it over. So I asked him if he would just take over Saturdays completely, and he did. So now I'm free to, you know, if I want to do a little Bible study, I can when I feel inspired. But I, I'm not, like, under the time clock. I'm not good at that, to uh, do it at a certain time, always. But, so, yes, going batty. Kevin from Going Bad, he does a great job with that, and so did Brad before Kevin did it all. Okay, simple food. I'm not really camera shy. I just don't have a setup to show me and the food. Food comes first. Really, Robin? Come on. How much, how hard can it be to pull the camera back and show you too? I mean, well, I don't have any special setup. I don't know what you saying. Your kitchen is too small? Well, all I know is I've never, ever, ever seen your face in a video, only only in your intro type thing. So I think you should get in front of the camera and let your personality shine and your face too. 
Okay, Isabel, your faith journey was so emotional. Many times I wept in the spirit. Everyone should read it. Yeah, I still cry when I watch it because that was all the Lord. Like I said, I waited until I felt I was being inspired to film it, and then I'd do a section. It was just our true life. And it was a scary thing to do because it's so personal. But, um, you know, that's what the Lord uses. He uses all the bits and pieces of our lives, the good and the bad, to make it into something beautiful when we give it to him. And that's what I put in my faith journey. So isn't that amazing how God works when we let go and pass the baton? Not only how God uses the other person, but how he is continually using you, Grandma. Thank you. So happy. How's your daughter doing? Okay, now I've got several daughters that um, had I had prayer requests for. I have one daughter. I'm going to say it's an unspoken prayer request. It has to do with a medical procedure. And uh, she's in a two-week time period now where it's critical. They're either going to work or it's not going to work. So we're praying very much for her, and that's Heidi. Uh, praying very much that this uh, procedure will work and uh, have the desired result. So I appreciate your prayers for Heidi. And then my Jennifer, who had the spine issues. She had her neck done, and that's doing great. And the more serious problem with her lumbar region is uh, still, ha still has to be scheduled for surgery. They're waiting for her neck to fully heal. So, uh, and that's playing havoc on her in other ways, too, because you get really down when you're in pain all the time, as Isabel and other people here may know. So, yeah, pray for, pray for Jen. Pray for Isabel, too. She could use your prayers. And uh, pray for my Jen that... Uh, I think they're going to schedule it very soon. Like next week, they may be setting a date to schedule the surgery for her lumbar spine. So, yeah. Thanks for asking, Laura. <laughs> and Civil Food Simple Life gave me hugs, so she didn't mind me calling her out on that and telling her, get in front of that camera. Because <laughs> that's what, it was the cockeyed homestead. I used, Mel from the cockeyed homestead, she isn't on much, you know, she... She uh, gets on and does things, and uh, she, she has a friend she lives with and named Joe, and Joe cooks sometimes, and Mel does the homesteading stuff with the chickens and the fencing and all that. And she'll go in spurts. I think she has up times and other times where she doesn't want to be near the camera. So anyway, Mel and I were, were friends before I was Bandana Grandma, and I, she was the first one I told... I decided I'm not going to use my real name anymore. I think if I'm going to do this and put myself out there, I'm at least going to just have a, a name that I can share without totally. There, Sheila. Hi, Sheila. Welcome, hon. <laughs> and so I chose Bandana Grandma because I do wear bandanas a lot. And I am a grandma. And it seemed to be a good name. And Mel told me she loved it. And Mel told me, stop just showing your hands, get in front of the camera. So that's what I did. <laughs> and I get a heart from Sheila. <laughs> if I could send you a heart on my iPad, I'd do that, Sheila. Okay, Laura, thank you for always thinking of everyone and praying for good thoughts and health. Yeah, you. I appreciate your prayers, Laura. I know you do pray for us and that means a lot okay I'm winding down I'm running out of things to say and my husband's probably coming home if you believe it he went for a walk in the rain and uh, to go visit our daughters who have to work today at their places of business glad I found you hi Glenda I'm glad you're here too Oh. <laughs> Lori's a sweetie. She's so supportive of Bandana Grandma. She's always sending me sweet notes, both in the mail and uh, in the email. And she sent me some sweet little gifts, which were totally unnecessary. I really appreciate the support. And you don't have to send me presents, but I love it if you put a nice positive comment in a video you like. Okay, Isabel. Jen is always in my prayers. Spinal pain 24-7 is very hard, yes. But God is so gracious. I'm just thankful I can walk. Heidi is being prayed for by many prayer warriors. That's wonderful. I will look up your faith journey. Okay, Glenda, I'm 
glad to have you do that. And if you find some, if you watch it and you think of someone who might benefit from it, then um, go ahead and share it because that's why I put it out there. I want, you know, I, I just feel the Lord wanted me to do that. So um, I wanted to from my heart. <laughs> Thank you, Laura. <laughs> okay, Kelly Huffman, blessings. All right, my husband just stuck his head out here to let me know he was home. So I'm going to go in, make dinner, clean up my kitchen really good. So if I do that live stream tomorrow, my kitchen will look all nice and bright and be a blessing to you all. No fun looking at somebody's messy kitchen. Although I've shown that because, you know, I, I'm for real too. I have a messy kitchen sometimes. <laughs> so, all right. Thank you all for coming by. Just want to make sure I didn't miss any messages here. Rose Marie Morton, I'm glad to find you. I'm glad to have you, Rose. Go ahead and subscribe, and then you'll know when I'm doing the live stream. Have a great day. Thank you for being such a blessing to others. May the Lord bless you to overflowing. Thank you. I so appreciate that. So happy. Have a good day, everyone. God sees you, Bandana Grandma. <laughs> good to see you, Bandana. Have a good day. Have you tried the salted caramel tea? I haven't. Maybe I'll do that today, Laura. I think I should. I'll, I'll try that today. And then when I get on live stream tomorrow, I'll, I'll re try to remember to talk about it, how I liked it. Sandy, glad I caught you live and got, and got to say hi. I'm glad you did too, Sandy. <laughs> oh, Jatan, hello. I'm just saying goodbye. But I'll say hello to Jatan and goodbye to Jatan <laughs> because I'm just signing off. I think I'm doing a live stream tomorrow, so maybe you can watch for that. I'm going to be cooking in the kitchen. You need to. It's yummy. The caramel salted tea, it sounds yummy. I think I will. All right, everyone. Thanks for coming by. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.